Okay, I'm with Darren Otten, Chico State Sustainable Manufacturing Department, also a manufacturer himself, uh, assistant professor at the College of Engineering. Darren, thanks for joining us. You saw the conference here today. First of all, from a 30,000 foot level, what's going on with manufacturing in Northern California? Well, it's, it's really a unique time right now. We've got a lot of opportunity with companies that are starting to look at uh, not only what you saw some of today, the reshoring initiatives that are going on, but you're seeing a more competitive advantage here, primarily because of the cost of transport that goes on all over the world. Um, it's very expensive to get goods to the markets. And when you look at California and you look at even Northern California, I mean, California's got 30 million people roughly. Um, that's a huge marketplace when you start looking at where are these markets and where are the opportunities to sell into these markets. Well, we all try to reduce these costs as we go around uh, to deliver our goods to the consumer. Um, the various liabilities associated with moving insurance, transportation, lead times, all these kind of things that come into play when we start talking about where things are manufactured currently, and now we start looking at the competitive advantage of servicing places like Silicon Valley. We start talking about the competitive advantage of servicing the entire West Coast, because especially Northern California, you look at it's pretty much equidistant between, frankly, Seattle and Los Angeles. Um, and so it does make it an economical approach to distributing whatever products are being made to those markets. More and more, you're you're also seeing a concept of resource recovery. And the resource recovery is a huge opportunity right now because we are such a large market, not only in North America, but in California. Um, when you start talking about the end of life cycle for products and what happens with those materials, right now a lot of those materials are mined, but they're being done so offshore. The gold connectors in computers, electronics, the plastics. Um, for most of that stuff, it's shipped to here, we use it, it, it's, it goes through its life cycle, and then we dispose of it, and it's being shipped back to wherever it was came, came from, and they're making it into something else that's coming back. That transportation equation's non-value add, and those are resources sitting there, ready to be used. And that's really what we're teaching now with our sustainable manufacturing program at Chico State, and how we're positioning our students for these things like design for deconstruction, design for recyclability, and that whole life cycle approach to manufacturing, which the U.S. consumer and California consumers are becoming more and more keyed into that says, I want to make responsible choices when I buy my goods. So I'm a manufacturer and investor overseas someplace. I'm looking at Northern California. Are there actually real opportunities for me? Are there actually things being built and things being produced in our area? There are a number of things being produced in the area, and a lot of them do tend to be marketplace-based. While we export a number of things from Northern California, especially in the agricultural equipment area, and I was you know, just in various parts of the world recently and have seen things from Weiss McNair here in, in Chico, um, but what we're seeing is we're seeing more and more of this market-based economy, and so it becomes very cyclical in these regions. Um, China will always be a manufacturer, okay? And China will always have manufacturing for their marketplaces. Um, but as a Chinese company who wants to continue to supply U.S. markets, they very well may have to look at a regionalized manufacturing base or a regionalized manufacturing company because of the fact that transportation is an impossible part of the equation to project, and that's a direct cost driver for all those goods. I think it was quarter three of last year, $91 million was invested in U.S. manufacturing firms by Chinese companies. Why? Because they're specifically looking at those markets and reducing that risk assessment of uncontrollable cost projections from transportation. Let me talk to you about Chico State for a second here. What can you bring to the table if I came to you and said, I'm an investor, I have some manufacturing ideas, what can you offer me? At Chico State, we get involved in a lot of early startup kind of uh, programs, projects. We work with a lot of startup companies, but we also work with a lot of existing companies, especially companies that don't maybe have the full infrastructure of engineering support, manufacturing support, and that development effort that really provides a synergistic relationship between students, faculty, and industry. Those are the partnerships that matter because the reality is, is that we create a situation where many of our students walk right into jobs with companies that they've already been working with for the last year or two or three on design projects and even manufacturing projects. Um, that's really what's exciting is that we're essentially the farm team for these companies that are expanding and growing into the marketplace. Okay, thanks very much, Darren Auden. Perfect.